Hey, hi, hello, how are you? I'm Pia and today I'm going to be doing my October 2019 TBR. Where you leave, I will follow. Yeah. In the month of October, I'm going to be participating in two different readathons. The first one is for the first two weeks of the month from October 1st to the 15th is the Gilmore Girls Readathon, which is going to be my entire TBR that I'm showing you right now. And then the Spookathon is from the 14th to the 20th of October. So I'm going to do a separate TBR for that. Just I'm not even going to pretend like it's the same day because we both know that it's not. We interrupt this TBR video because I forgot to do my TBR jar and I need to. So here we go. I pick three books out of this and I hope to read one. I don't know. Sometimes it's the push I need to read them. Sometimes I just don't pick them up, but we'll see. So um, these have some books available through my library, books I physically own as well as books from script I think just to give myself a little bit of ease during the month go with this book right here <laughs> so we see in this video I have a, you'll see that I have or you can tell from the thumbnail that I have a lot of books on my TBR and this book was actually on my TBR for August I want to say and that is the Priory of the Orange Tree. I know you can't see that. This is like 800 pages, but I do actually have it sectioned in 100 page like increments. I'm very, very excited to read this. I am just not as excited as I was when I first bought it. Yeah, I don't know. I, this is a standalone fantasy about dragons and it's like, well, <laughs> uh, okay. I do want to read it. It's just like scary, you know? Okay, so I got An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. This is available through my library. I've been really wanting to listen to the audiobook. I really don't know what it's about. I think it's about a girl who is, like, trying to go against, like, the government in, like, a dystopian kind of thing. I don't want that one because that scares me. I don't want to read this one, so I'm going to put it back. <laughs> okay, there's one in here that I'm just, like, saving for a specific time of year, so I really just, like, don't want to read it right now. Then I got The Bane Chronicles, which, is, again, is a book I don't own. I listen to basically all Cassandra Clare books on audio. This is a pretty cool one. I have never read... Oh, I have. Never mind. I was gonna say I've never read her story collections, novellas. Is that it? Um, but I have. <laughs> but I have read this one. This is just all about Magnus Bane, and he's a pretty cool guy. So this readathon is hosted by Books and Things. I'm literally so excited because I don't know if you know this about me, but I love Gilmore Girls. I literally have the complete box set. I am the biggest. I am definitely a Rory, but I'm also kind of a Lorelai, and my mom and I like feel like we're the same. And I'm also rewatching this series um, because I'm watching it with my dad. He's never seen it. So, anyways, so I'm going to be doing option two. The first option is to read um, the books or any of the books from Rory Gilmore's reading list, which basically there's just like this list of all the books she's ever been seen with, um, which is like 377 books or something, and they're all like classics and like. We're just not doing that. So, <laughs> our seven challenges, there are like 14 days in the readathon, so yes. So, the first challenge is to read a book with a school setting to represent Chilton or Yale. And for that, I'm going to be reading Highly Illogical Behavior by John Corey Whaley. I remember like a couple years ago, a lot of people talking about this book, and I really just don't know what it's about. But I got this at a used bookstore. I love used bookstores and I just know I think it's about some guy in like junior high so he's like in middle school. I want to say it has mental health rap but I really do not know. So the main character Solomon is actually agoraphobic so I'm very excited. I think I've heard good things about this representation. I will have to check but yes so that's my first book. The next challenge of course is to read a book with a strong mother-daughter relationship because that's what basically the whole show is about. For that, I'm going to be reading a book that I think has a strong mother-daughter relationship, and that is The Wise and the Wicked by Rebecca Polos. This, I know, is kind of witchy. I know it's about kind of like a magic system that's passed down through the women in the family, so I do assume that it has that kind of bond, that kind of maternal bond. Could not tell you more about this book. <laughs> Next up is to read a cozy read for all of the fun festivals and events that go on in Stars Hollow. I'm going to be reading City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. This is set in Edinburgh. I think it's going to be so perfect for the fall time because it is kind of spooky and I think it's going to be really fun and atmospheric. It's about a girl who sees ghosts and has like a ghost for a best friend and I just think it's very very great and perfect for fall in October. <laughs> Next up is to read a book with a complicated relationship. I just want to aforementioned that this challenge is like, you know, to represent the different relationships Rory has, you know. And I just want to say that like I 
don't know why people are so concerned about BTS biases when they are not concerned about um, Rory Gilmore biases because mine is Dean. So anyways, I have heard that Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson does have a kind of hate to love romance. So I think it will be a little complicated, a little, it's like perfect for fall, this book. It's like all about a magic library and sorcerers and it sounds so good. <laughs> and I know this has a hate to love romance. So yeah, and maybe even a love triangle, which would be accurate to Gilmore Girls. I hate a love triangle, but I've heard this stuff, so I don't know. Next up is to read a book with Asian representation for our beloved best friend, Lane. And for this, I'm going to appropriately be reading Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. I picked this up recently and I could not be more excited to pick it up. I honestly, I've been really <laughs> avoiding spoilers for this even after the movie came out, but I know it's about just like an outrageously extravagant wealthy family in Singapore and this girl who is like just from New York going to spend the summer with her boyfriend and his family is extravagantly rich and lives in Singapore and it's like all these like rich people problems and like I don't know I heard it's like really dramatic and really fun so I'm very very excited to pick this one up. And the next challenge is to read a next book in a series for a year in the life <laughs> And for that, I'm going to be reading Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. This is kind of cheating. This isn't technically the next book in a series, but it is the next book that I have to read for the, um, just the Shadowhunter books, but it is the first book in the Dark Artifices, if that makes any sense. If you don't know about Shadowhunter books, it's going to make no sense. But it's the first book in a trilogy, but the trilogy is a companion to a different series. So kind of works, kind of doesn't. And then the last challenge is to read a book with food on the cover and for that I'm going to be reading Serious Moonlight. This is by Jen Bennett. I recently read Star Eyes yeah, by Jen Bennett and I absolutely adored it. It quickly became one of my favorite books and this is another one of her cute romances. As you can see it has pie on the cover. It was very difficult for me to find a book with food on the cover and I am just really excited. I know this kind of weaves in a mystery element and it's about two people who work at a cafe so I was like how perfect is that for fall? Anyway guys that is my whole TBR for October or at least for half of the month. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you're going to be reading and if you are participating in the Gilmore Girls Readathon I highly recommend that you do because I literally just stumbled across it and I was like all right bet let's make a TBR. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for Watching. Thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. Love this video. I'll see you in my next one. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the things, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!